Hi guys, so today I'm doing a tutorial on Raggedy Ann and basically, obviously I look crazy right now, but I've been waiting to this tutorial for forever and I think I finally fixed my camera, but it would suck if it isn't. So I really hope you enjoy this video and it's really simple, it's really easy and I love it so much. So open your eyes really wide and let's get started. So the first thing you're going to want to do is take a moisturizer that has SPF in it because that's going to make a sort of whitish tint to your skin and I use Clinique Even Better Skin Tone Correcting Moisturizer with SPF 20 and it's not going to make a huge difference but it will make a big enough difference that you should probably do this and it also can act as a primer um, so it's just minimizing products. So now taking a foundation that is too light for you, I use my MAC Studio Moisture Tint in SPF 15 again with the SPF for the whitish tint and this is in light, it's a little bit too bright for me and um, this will also make your face bright. And I used a Sigma um, F80 Flat Top Synthetic Kabuki Brush to make this super natural looking and blend it perfectly. So now using my Maybelline Fit Me um, concealer, and this is in Fair Claire, you're going to put this under your eyes and pat it in. And this is a very brightening concealer, and so this will add some brightness to your eyes, which later on we're going to do a lot more to make your eyes super bright. So you just want to blend this in, just like so, and put it on your lid just to get rid of any imperfections. Now with the fluffy brush, I'm using MAC 150 brush, we're going to take the Makeup Forever Professional HD High Definition Powder. And the thing with these powders is even though they're translucent, they give a ghostly sort of like whitish tint to your skin, which is why I wouldn't use this any time else. This is perfect for this tutorial where we're trying to make us look more white. So now taking a white eyeliner, I'm using a MAC white eye coal in um, Fascinating and this is a very creamy white eyeliner. I'm just going to put this all over my waterline to brighten up my eyes and make them look really wide awake. My next step is I'm actually going to draw on um, bottom lashes because I don't want to use any false lashes. Um, I'm going to take it and almost create really um, like long bottom lashes. This is my Urban Decay 24 7 Glide On Eye Pencil in Zero. So just do as I do and make them very like separate because that's the point that we want our eyelashes to be almost like very spidery. Now using a clumpy, very volumizing mascara, I'm using my Day to Night Defined Length Intense Volume Mascara. The reason I use this a lot with tutorials like this is because I like to have super, super clumpy eyelashes when I need them. This one's perfect, so you're going to go back and forth with motions just like I'm using now to make spidery lashes that are almost completely separate. And obviously you would not want to wear this usually, but it's perfect for this tutorial and it's gonna get on you with the motions I'm doing so just once you're done make sure you wipe off all the excess mascara that got on you and yeah Now just put this mascara on your bottom lashes like you usually would. There's nothing special about what you're doing for your bottom lashes because you've already drawn them on. And once again, don't forget to take off all the excess mascara that got all over you because it obviously would have if you're doing crazy motions like that, but that's just important. So now going back with that white eyeliner, you're going to highlight your eyes and you might want to do this after when you actually put on your waterline, but I decided to do it afterwards. And then just blend that in to brighten up your eyes because we want super bright open eyes. 
Now that we're done with that, we're going to take a black mascara, the one, I mean black um, eyeliner, the one that we used for our bottom lashes, and we're going to sort of draw on a smile, which is just by taking a curved line and bringing it up on both sides and, you know, making a smile. So now with a um, lip brush, and I'm using um, Maybelline New York Lip Brush in Wine, and I'm going to draw on a almost heart shape on my cupid's bow and fill that in and I'm just going to take a then lip brush I'm using a MAC 316 lip brush and I'm going to fill in my lips with red and this is just going to make the really small lips that Raggedy Ann has and make it more of a cartoon look which is what we're going for So now taking the same white eyeliner, once again, we're going to draw circles on the apples of our cheeks and make them fairly medium size. I wouldn't say big and I wouldn't say small. And then with a um, tint or a stain, you're gonna, I'm using Beta Tint, I'm going to fill in the circle and rub around as a base for the powder I'm going to be using in a minute. And you just want to build this up to till it has like a nice flush. It's, you want to be able to notice it, but it doesn't want to be, but you don't want it to be like super crazy. So I say like two coats is good, or three coats. <laughs> um, and then my next step is I'm going to take a blending brush, and it's just a really fluffy small brush, and I'm using my MAC 224 black brush, and I'm using a red, um, what do you call it, um, blush. I'm using NYX's Mocha. And this is a really bright blush, and this was actually broken already, and it's already a really pigmented blush, so it's super pigmented when I put it on. But um, you just want to get a basic, like, red shade to your um, cheeks without it being too bright red, just more of a natural, yet unnatural look. For your very last step, taking any excess from your lip brush that you used already with your red lipstick, sort of paint on the Raggedy Ann V nose where it's just basically a red nose and it's as simple as that and you're done with the makeup. Okay, so here's the, uh, the hair part of the tutorial. I know this looks crazy but I love this tutorial so let me just show you what I do. So to get the Raggedy Ann hair, you can't really do it with your own hair. Um, it's kind of like very stringy like yarn looking hair. And I just, I wasn't about to go out and buy a wig because I wasn't even going to be Raggedy Ann for Halloween. But um, I found a little red wig that I think fits really well. I mean, obviously not perfectly, but I think it goes almost perfectly with the um, whole outfit. So what you do is you want to take your hair up. And in a low bun, you're just going to wrap it around super tight and then around the bottom of your head where not that many people are going to see it and it's not going to cause a weird bump in your hair you want to tie it and it's going to look like that okay and now taking my wig and this is like a really sparkly shimmery wig but I think it looks really stringy and I think it's almost the perfect wig without actually having to buy one And that's the hair. I was Alice in Wonderland a few years ago for Halloween, so I took an old Alice in Wonderland costume. And basically all you need is a blue dress that's like big sleeves, and this is very long actually. But um, like this, and then it has a little apron, and then the wig, and here we go. I'm Raggedy Ann. So I really hope you enjoyed this video and make sure you open your eyes up super wide because you look, although you look crazy, you look like Raggedy Ann and um, I can't wait to hear your responses. Bye, talk to you guys later.